Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. You can use Word to create mail merge label addresses, and this is very much the same as creating envelopes with a normal mail merge. In this case, you probably have a data source that contains the names and addresses of people to whom you want to create labels. You just need to create a label merge document and place the merge fields into that merge label. You can even add postal barcodes to allow computerized sorting by address at the post office if you then put them on envelopes. Now to start a mail merge, select Tools from the menu bar, roll down to Letters and Mailings, and choose the Mail Merge or Mail Merge Wizard command from the side menu. That will launch the Mail Merge Wizard over in the task pane. The Mail Merge Wizard will be six separate steps that we have to answer questions in the task pane and click next to continue. So first the mail merge wizard asks us what type of document we're working on. Select the option button that corresponds to the type of document you're trying to create. So in this lesson we're going to choose labels to make labels. After that's selected scroll down and click next to continue. Next, the Mail Merge Wizard will ask you how do you want to set up your mailing labels. Choose Change Document Layout to change the existing document into Labels, or you could choose Start from Existing Layout if you already had some labels set up as a template. So let's choose Change Existing Document Layout, scroll down and click Next to bring up the Label Options dialog box. Here we have to choose whether we're using dot matrix or laser and inkjet labels. So let's say we're using laser and inkjet. We would then use the label products drop down to select the name of the manufacturer from whom we purchased the labels and look on the box of labels themselves for the product number that you purchased. So 5160s from the Avery company let's say. Those are fairly standard. You would then choose OK and here it would want you to select recipients. So you could either use an existing list like a Word table, an Excel spreadsheet, an Access database. You could choose contacts from a contacts folder in Outlook or you could create your own data source right here. Let's say we're going to choose from a spreadsheet. So we're going to choose to use an existing list and then we have to click browse to go find the file that we want to use as our data source. Select the name of the sheet and click OK or Open. Here because we selected an Excel spreadsheet which has three sheets I would have to choose which sheet has my data and does the first row of data contain the column headers in my table. And I'm going to leave that checked because it does and then click OK. That then brings up the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box. You can use this dialog box to filter and sort recipient information, which will be discussed in a later chapter. For now, just click OK on this box to close it. And then click the Next button at the bottom of the task pane to move to the next step. Next, it wants us to arrange our labels. So here we would click into the first label in the upper left corner where you want to insert information from your data source. Next click the address block command in the task pane. This will launch the insert address block dialog box. Here you select the options you would like for the recipient's name and how you'd want it to appear. Do you want the company name or not? Check or uncheck the box. Should it insert postal addresses? And at the bottom, in the lower left corner, you can click Match Fields. This will allow you to ensure that each field in your data source is appropriately matched up with the required information that we would need in order to insert an address block. We have the appropriate information, so we can just click OK and then click OK to insert our address block. Notice there's also a command that it says insert postal barcode. If you'd like to insert a postal barcode, click that command 
Choose the field that contains your zip code from the Merge Field with Zip Code drop-down, and then choose the field from your data source that contains the street address from the Merge Field with Street Address drop-down. Then click OK, and you'll see it appear in your labels. Now that you've set up the layout for the first label, scroll further down into the Task Pane window. You'll see the Replicate Labels section. Click Update All Labels to make all the labels the same. Click Next when you're done to move to the next screen and preview your labels. Now you can just simply click through the double right pointing and double left pointing chevrons in the Mail Merge task pane to move through the list of recipients. When it ensures that you've actually got all the information that you need printed and it all looks correct, at this point, scroll down to the bottom and click Next to complete the merge. At the bottom of the last pane, you can either click Print to send this directly to the printer, and here you would just choose a range of records to print, such as all, just the current label, or labels from 5 through 10, or you can click Edit Individual Labels. That would then merge this to a new document where you could make editing changes to it. And once again, you'd have to select the range of records to merge to the new document and click OK. And that's it to merging your labels. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!